I'm Jason. And I'm Jules. And we, we do him I had a 50. <laughs> uh, nothing that makes me harder than farts. Yeah. Uh, it's episode three. Right, we a fart on. We do him <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I uh, regret picking this movie. Don't tell them. I enjoyed. No, I didn't enjoy. <laughs> I'm glad I watched it. Uh, it's something else, but uh, yeah. So yeah, we we pick movies that people are like, yeah, this is sexy. Black Snake Moan. Yeah. Oh, you gonna tell us some cool things? It's movies from 2006. Have you seen this before? No. Oh, I have. I, oh, I remembered almost nothing of it. Fantastic. It's got a tagline, at least one. Everything is hotter down south. Oh, yeah. The only thing I know about this movie was it a lot launched the director into the stratosphere of making garbage, and I think he did Hustle and Flow. And, and man, you got a song called Beat That. I think he did Hustle and Flow before this, and then he did Black Sun. Oh, Hall. this is the follow up. He got yeah. cr- Credos. Thanks to Ludacris Bridges and Terrence Howard, uh, creator of The New Math. How can one times one equaling one be part of the multiplication table? It fails to satisfy the term multiply. Probably why uh, David Banner is in this movie. Is he Tyrone? Yeah. Tyrone. She got a kid dig. She goes crazy. It had a budget of $15 million. If we ever do Django, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> It, it grossed worldwide uh, just under $11 million. <laughs> I remember liking this movie. But even this time, I was like, what? So wait, no, what is this now? Uh, Christina Ricci chose to wear a 40-pound chain during filming. Nice. Uh, Craig Brewer, the, the director and writer, brought several different chains. Said, I'll leave it up to you, girl. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson learned to play the guitar for this film while completing production of a movie coincidentally enough entitled snakes on a plane 2006 was cemented as the year that there were two movies released by samuel l jackson with snake in the title oh this is the better one christina ricci revealed in an interview Mm -hmm. uh, she wasn't the first choice for the role who was didn't say oh however the reason was she said that they didn't want her uh, was because they didn't think that she was sexy enough. So she bleached her hair, did an audition, and they were like, no. And then her she agent and her publish- publicist sent a video of her masturbating. They with- sent pictures of her in, in sexy images, and, and then they had boners, so they cast her. Can I, is Christina Ricci, I know you're watching. I think you're super hot. I didn't think that when I was little, because mm-hmm. we're the same age. But boy, early in the film, I thought to myself uh-huh. that uh, she was giving me <laughs> Sigourney Weaver vibes. Is it because of the white panties? No. Well, maybe it's the big eyes. Yeah. But it quickly transitioned into young Susan Sarandon vibes. Okay. Look at those big ass eyes, Jehovah. Considering. It always feels like she downplays her sexuality otherwise. It's interesting that um, she, she wrapped did it this. up in this. Because I'm going to read you some stuff that's going to disturb I fucking love it. Please, you. please, please. Just give me that disturbia. Producers felt that Christina Ricci being scantily clad and nude in most of the movie was a huge selling point. Which is ironic because originally they didn't think she was sexy at all. Yeah. They used images of her almost naked in the marketing campaign. Yeah. She was upset though. She says, what about the acting? Yeah, she good. She says in an interview that she devised a unique tactic to destigmatize herself from feeling weird being nude during filming. Decompartmentalized? No, she just stayed naked when she wasn't filming. Oh. So she just walk around, you know, asking people questions completely naked. The idea was that people would forget that she was naked. And so then they wouldn't be staring at her lasciviously, I, I guess. Is this like that's too? It's too much. It seems kind of yeah. Too you wear your your you know your panties, which never get dirty throughout the movie. I brought this up to Jenny. I said, "Did you notice those panties are still wet?" She wouldn't watch the movie. She said she's gonna watch it. She did yeah. not watch it with me. 
I said she's been chained up. She's running the fever. She's squirming around. I think there'd be some real dark ass she's yellow in the, piss in the mud. For in there, one. yeah, then she'd be she'd be dribbling it. Yeah, while she's peeping. She's a fever dreaming for two days. Yeah, it's... you're not gonna have some dehydrated piss come out. Mm-hmm. Blood. Maybe a little f- farty. She's a woman. Some mud butt. Ugh. Mud butt. She said it worked. Made yeah. her feel less uncomfortable being um, completely nude all the time. Christina Ricci said uh, the rough sex scenes were painful. It's sad. Partly, uh, no, physically. Partly because some of the fellow cast members. They weren't actors by nature. So they were really hitting her. Apparently, rap producer, always a rapper, David Banner, uh-huh. had no previous acting experience before this, of course. And she says, when people are simulating something, one person is responsible for throwing, and the other is responsible for reacting. Yeah. And there should not be that much force involved. However, during their bang-out scene, she said, I was being hurt. It kind of felt like being raped. It was hard. You're bumming me out. I felt terrible, right? I quit this podcast. But she says it wasn't Dave's fault. The electric guitar that Lazarus plays is a Gibson ES-335. Yep. I knew you knew that. Mm-hmm. According to the details written in the script, Lazarus, Samuel L. Jackson, is written to be in his late 50s. And Ray, Christina Ricci. 13. Around 20 to 25 years. Additionally, Ronnie, Justin Timberlake, is written to be roughly the same, 25. Oh, Jamie, wait. Did you, did you feel like that was a really interesting tidbit there where you told me their ages? Yeah. You, need, you needed to know that. I don't think so. Hit me with that synopsis. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a little Black Snake Moan. When local coward Ronnie, Justin Timberlake, goes to the army to make money to get an education to take him and his girlfriend Ray, Christina Ricci, out of poverty and usher them into a better life, Ray takes the opportunity to fuck every swinging dick in town. Meanwhile, local ex-blues man, current grumpy Gus Lazarus, Samuel L. Jackson, is moping around after his wife leaves him for his younger brother. Who never comes back. No. After a night out getting wasted and cum dumped, Ray gets home ride home from local Ronnie's friend Gil, Michael Raymond James from True Blood. He first humiliates okay. her, then tries to force himself on her, then beats her senseless and leaves her in a ditch after she mentions his penis is smaller than local pool shark slash crack guy Tehran, David Banner. Lazarus discovers Ray and first tries to save her life, then decides he needs to save her soul and chains her to her radiator. His radiator. When he fixes to rid her of her demons, what caused by a black snake moan? Julian writes these. They're pretty good. They're <laughs> yeah, th- th- that's my biggest gripe with this movie is that uh, she does seem to have some sort of a hex on her n- southern bell area. What? She's got a hex on her vagina. Yeah? Because she just goes hentai i mean that's the thing that was confusing for me jenny i was like what is the deal here she's like she's it's an anxiety thing he leaves and she's anxious um i don't know it does seem quite strange that she needs to fuck everybody but also immediately yeah like she, okay. the second he leaves she starts writhing on the ground i'm, I'm like oh this is like two weeks later no, no, he's two, 30 seconds after she he She immediately away. goes to Tyrone. But what's odd is he, because he goes, now we've been doing this for a while. Yeah, she's been fucking him. The whole time. Mm-hmm. she got JT at home. Yep. Yeah, you know. You know? I mean, he sucks. Yeah, but. Everybody starts dropping M-bombs later. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. I always knew it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what drew him to the role, right? <laughs> Finally, I could say it in public. Uh, yep. I've been wanting Just to. Just as what's the hell. Let everybody know. <laughs> The movie starts, uh-huh. and Sammy Jack, he's in a, in a little bit of a funk. Yeah. He's having a rough time. I never laid a hand on her in anger. Not one time, Ariel, not even when I was drinking. But this him business got me wondering what a good shake and slap would do for him. We gonna keep the talk between us now. I thought his wife died. I did Is that too. What you, that's the vibe? And Immediately, then like, yeah. Oh, no, nah, man. He meeting her at a, at a diner. Yeah, because the priest is like... Hey, it's all good. We got your back. 
But then he goes there, yeah, and she's like, yeah, look, dude, I don't love you anymore. You are old. She she ends with that. That's not what she leads with. Yeah, she goes, she eases uh, into it. look, I am sleeping with your brother. Of course, we all know that. We're leaving. Of don't course, we, we all know that. Can we make this work, though? I, I'm your husband. You're my boy, though. And then what do you say? No. You uh, say, I don't love you. I, I don't love you. You are aging and dying. I still got living to do. Living with you, I feel it. Like I'm one foot in the dirt. So what happened to my mama, and that's not going to happen to me. Yeah, I want to do the Watusi. Yeah. And he puts a hex on her. Yeah. She recoils. Mm -hmm. Don't you hex me, Lazarus. Hey, you're rocking these hexes tonight, huh? Yeah. And, you got a hex on the brain. And everybody's looking around, and she goes, what are you people looking at? You think I give a shit about any of you or something? Are we going to watch Hexed with Ari Gross? That dares to ask the burning questions of the day. Like, is a mime a terrible thing to waste? <laughs> no, we're going to watch Jonah Hex. Jonah Hex. I'm Colvin. And so she leaves. And, man, it, it feels like time is progressing at great leaps and bounds throughout the beginning of this movie to me. So Justin T Justin Timberlake, he's going to the Army. And we don't know why, but he's going. Yeah. She goes, can't leave. He goes, don't worry, I got these watches. And when they're, they're synchronized, so when they beep, that'll mean I'm thinking about you. Yeah, you. it's great. They go off uh, at night when you're supposed to be sleeping. And she goes, oh, word. Yeah. And it when do they fucking go off? Like 11? I was assuming like 8 p.m., but yeah, it seems to be awfully late. Yeah. And so she goes, you can't leave. He goes, I'm leaving, though. And then he does. And she goes, no. And she falls on the ground and immediately. <laughs> Is it through trying to pull something in? Yeah. <laughs> it's not funny because she had a she had a bad relationship. Yeah, and <laughs> and, bad and you hear the snake rattling. Do you? Yeah. Oh. I had subtitles on. <laughs> and crickets. <laughs> and grass growing. Oh, and she's just throbbing. So let's do a boner check in. Yeah. I don't know what I wanted to happen there. Oh, I'm super. Okay, well, okay, go ahead. They do have sex, Justin Timberlake and her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see a little bit of her breast. Yep. He's pounding on her. Mm -hmm. He has sex. He comes and he cries. So that's the first uh, um, exhibit of sex and horniness in this movie. And you know what I said? I said I'm glad. I'm glad I get to see her get fucked. It kind of gave me Betty, <laughs> Betty Blue vibes. Okay. You know, it's like, okay, this is going to be a sexy movie. I was happy to see the boobs. I don't know, knowing what little I do about this movie, uh -huh. the very specific key point of this film, yeah. I'm like, I don't know how sexiness is going to weigh in on all of this. but So now she's she's writhing on the grass trying to be like, no, yeah. no, I'm not going to rub my vagina and go out and find people to fill it up. <clears throat> I give it a little bit of a stirring uh, when she starts. Basically, her, her writhing... Is everything for me in this movie. Okay. So I'm not going to say we got 10 boners right off the top, but I'm going to say a little bit cool. <laughs> Nothing for you? No. Uh, but yeah, so immediately smash cuts to her getting smashed in a bathroom. Yeah. David Banner's just banging away on Darla. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then I was like, well, this isn't that sexy. No, it's rough, but she wants it that way. She's got her top on, too. She does. I was expecting to see some titties. Feels like around. a motel. Maybe a slimy dick. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, she goes, hey, Tyrone, give me some money. How many times we done done this shit? Look, I ain't calling you no hoe or nothing. I ain't gonna let you play me like no trick, neither. Remember? <laughs> you call me. I'll save it. Save it for those dumb fuckers you sell crack to. What's she want that money for? Yeah. Cough Stuff. medicine. Because she's been coughing. It's yeah. rheumatoid arthritis of That's, the lungs. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> or she's got tuberculosis. <laughs> <laughs> One or the other. And uh, he, he does get, cut her off a little bread, though. But he's like, you know, we just fucking. And then she starts getting like a slow motion montage to heavy blues music. Walking down the street in her Daisy Dukes yeah. with her low crop top. Mm -hmm. And a truck's behind her honking. Yeah. Get out of the way. It's not a truck. It's uh, like a, a farm equipment. Yeah. Something that drives really slow, but boy, she's walking even It takes slower. up the entire road. Yeah. And he's just Combine? Like, I'm working. And she 
gives him the middle finger. I'm walking here. And I'm like, wide cut, slow Black motion. Damn, this bitch is bad. That's what you're thinking. Give me snakes. And she goes to town, and she gets tries to get cough medicine, and she runs into her mom. Your meal ticket gets shipped out today? I'm watching this with Jenny, and she's like, is that Kim Richards from The Real Housewives? I'm not talking to you. And I'm just Shut your f***ing you. mouth. I've had enough of you, you beast. Beast? Yeah. She's married to Kelsey Grammer. And I was like, I don't know about was that. Was it? And then I looked it up. I was like, oh, yeah, that is Kim Richards. Kelsey Grammer's wife? She, at one point. Jeez. She was also the little girl who gets smoked in the beginning of Assault on Precinct 13, the original. I want a vanilla twist. Uh, she's just on a fuck fest. And she goes to a party and she's just doing hard drugs. It cuts to them playing football. Yeah. And she's just got on her panties and a shoulder pad. Yeah. And a guy just starts banging on her after she passes out. No. She she's falls not, down. She's not passed out. And it cuts to him just... Okay. He, he inseminates her. Number one, I... That's actually pretty hot. Of course. Panties but I the, just can't enjoy it. The context is not sexy in this movie. No, it's sad. It's terrible, it's yeah. It's all sad. We, I, I agree. I'm not, I'm not a bad guy. That's the problem. This God. <laughs> she's so good looking and hot and nude almost uh-huh. all the time. But it's like, I don't want to see this. Yeah. So she's not passed out. She's like laying on the ground. I think she blacks she's... out and falls. Because then she like kind of wakes up. Where is everybody? I think that she passes out after he fucks her. Because it's really okay. depressing. Because he basically comes at her and then yeah. goes right back to the game while yeah. she's just laying I on the like, ground. I was like, God, please no more come up. Please don't, no more come up. Don't they, don't they call that aftercare? Like you're, you're nice to people after you have sex? Yeah. <laughs> he is not. Yeah. He leaves. He just, I'm out of here. And then they all leave three guys in a car with her friend yeah so who knows what's going on there you know i do i'd hang out with her in the rain i'd be I nice to her i'd put a towel on her yeah you know I'd be like unless you like this rain do you just want me to hold you i forget how you like your eggs can i bring you out to eat at the 24-hour diner 300 miles away because no, 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 we live in a her. dump oh and you go i forget how you like your eggs over easy or sunny side up okay darla she, all of a sudden, Ronnie's friend comes over and he goes, hey, I'll give you a ride home. And he stops on the side of the road, which turns out to be right outside Lazarus's house. It's cool. I'm gay. I'm dating Lafayette from True Blood. Because this is, I'm the same character. Yeah. And he goes, God damn you, you slut. I mean, I've heard people say you'd fuck the tree if it was handy. I can see that. Like that <laughs> Tyrone. You had to give it up to N-word, D-I-C-K? Yeah. How dare you? And she's just out. And he goes, I'll show you. And then she just starts laughing. Mm-hmm. So what the fuck? She goes, your dick is tiny. You think he's got a real little peener? And he goes, oh. And he just starts doing three punches on her. Here, stop me when you we get to the size penis you think he has, right? <laughs> Shit, Jules. I was thinking you go like this. <laughs> oh, it's, it's in there? It's a black void. How's that going to... So that's a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks. Oh. <laughs> but he beats the shit out of her. And then he goes, wake up! Wake up! Oh, shit, sure, I'll kill you. Oh, God! And he kicks her out of the car. Yeah. Like, it follows. And then he pulls off. And then Lazarus wakes up, because he's been drinking. Oh, because he, he's at the bar, and his brother comes in. Yeah. Bartender is so cool. And that's a whole lot of women right there. Yeah, you like that guy? Yeah, I love him. Oh, man. And he goes, hey, man, uh... You, you're not going to get crazy in my bar ever, right? And he goes, no, I wouldn't do that. And he goes, all right, well, your brother's here. And he goes, hey, man, Laz, I'm just trying to make peace before I leave. And he goes, well, fuck you. Yeah. You took my wife uh-huh. into your bed. I'm not supposed to do that. The path of the righteous leads to me grabbing this bottle and almost killing you. And he yeah. cuts his hand. He goes, uh, you made your bed, dick fucker, mm-hmm. and you're going to live with it. And word He no says the word brother. too. I, well, you know what? Mm. You like it. I like it when Samuel Jackson says He pops off with it, and you're just like, you know what? This feels authentic. Yeah. It would happen. It did just happen. It's just the best. It's the best. Say you love me, Oh, man. It feels dirty when the other ones, when the white guys say it. Yeah, Justin Timberlake feels a little comfortable saying it. Yeah. Clayne Crawford, not so much. Fake Clayne Crawford. (laughs) Yeah, Timberlake, 
You know what? You couldn't. I even... believe it. I yeah. believe it when he fires it off. I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, he comes. This, this was. This was always there. Well, in the director's commentary, he goes, "That wasn't even in the script." <laughs> <laughs> he just took one leg and Sammy Jack. And said, yeah, and it's funny because that what that scene we were filming a completely different scene, and Justin burst in because Samuel Jackson had eaten his craft services specially created meal. Yeah, and he just starts firing off the N word, waving guns around. We said, "You know what? This fits the moment." Yeah, and it also avoids having Justin Timberlake arrested. Can I? Can I tell you about white people? Please do it's always simmering in us it's always about to pop out oh, i just want to tell you 100 percent of the time it's just ready to come you know out. what i think about that <laughs> <laughs> laz he wakes up after drinking and almost hurting his brother but not and he throws out rose's clothes he drives over her rose beds with his tractor yeah. and this is all within like 24 hour period uh-huh. justin timberlake has yet to be shipped out yeah he's on he's the just bus <laughs> <laughs> and uh He's walking from the trash. I think, there's a, I think there's a white girl on the road. Looks around. Am I on that prank show with those three fucking unsuffer- insufferable idiots that were never funny? <laughs> hey. <laughs> she wakes up coughing. It's because he's jamming your belly button. He goes, oh, shit. And you're alive. So he scoops her. He brings her in the house. Puts her on the couch. He goes, Miss. Listen, I'm going to save you, okay? Here are my hands. Nothing funny is going on. His dick starts going. And she's coughing. Yeah. And he goes, get this motherfucking snake out of my motherfucking pants. We, right, we did it both ways. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. So like, I, I did this, so you know, it's the snake, but then I moaned. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> he's he's like oh shit you're sick i'm gonna go get some help and he goes to get some help from the pharmacy he's looking around and in the back this is really great um god what uh uh, uh s e patha murkerson what the fuck is that her name the pharmacist yeah s e patha murkerson that's her fucking name s period yeah e patha murkerson Okay. She was the chief on Law and Order. I was gonna say she's from Law and Order. Yeah, and it's great because as he's looking around, not sure what he's doing, you can see her in the far back, not yeah. even in focus. You know it's her though. She just comes. You know it's her. Yeah. Do you? Uh, she's so warm. I love her. I I really liked her a lot in this. What's interesting is like she's. I mean, she's hitting on him. She's not hitting on him, but she's like flirting a little I'm, bit. I'm I'm available and I like you. And he seems like immediately receptive to it. Yeah. The night before, he's pretty tore up from his wife. Yeah. So it just seems like, oh, he's ready to move on, I guess. His dick moaned, and he's good. Uh-huh. What color was it? <laughs> Red. Good and job. Flamed. Oh. Yeah. And uh, she much, goes... Too much rubbing since she left. She goes, what are you doing? He goes, oh, I'm looking for cough medicine for my knees. She got a real bad cough. You take her to a doctor? No. Uh, she can't... Go. Well, ain't no money for a doctor. Her daddy off working, and he asked me to take care of her. I don't, I don't know what to do. You wait right here. Which is dumb because it's such a tight knit community. Huh. She's like, well, isn't your? You would think she'd just be like, well, isn't your brother fucking your wife? <laughs> it is. It is like a tight. I don't. It's not. You a have a niece. Super small town though, right? Like it's to, small. It's a small town. They got a piggly wiggly. <laughs> but she doesn't question it, and she mixes them up a concoction. She doesn't mix. She gets him a fucking illegal prescription that yeah. he doesn't have access to. No. Because her sister had a yeah. thing, tuberculosis. I, f- I falsified these records to get you this medicine. It's got cool. He goes, oh, it. miss, whatever your name is, isn't that going to get you in trouble? She's like, no, if you don't, if you shut the fuck up, no. Yeah. So he leaves. He gives it to her. You know, man, he's nursing her back to health. I know, I know it hurts. I know it hurts. You got to break that fever. I ain't going to let you die. But she keeps wandering about looking for Sonny. She's fevered out. At man. one point. She got the fever done. Yeah, yeah. She sees footsteps under the door. It opens. It's a guy in like a flannel with like a hunting vest on. With a blurry face. Completely unfocused. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh, is she hallucinating that Ronnie's come? No. No. It's a bad man that flips open a Zippo. He's, he's about to do stuff to her. And she goes, no. And she wakes up. <laughs> and uh, she's on the floor. That's your that's your, your uh, assault voice. It that's, is. That's the one you use for too young to die. Mm-hmm. It's going to save my life one day. No. <laughs> and probably grind when he's shaking her. Oh no! Yeah, 
that was sad. Uh, but uh, so Sam, Sammy Jack, he goes, you know, child, because she comes on to him briefly. He goes, I'm gonna chain you up to this radiator, because you've been running about. Between them fits and them fever dreams you having, I've been chasing you all over this place at night. Well, I'm woke now. You can take this off. No. I'm trying to save you. At first, I was going to save you from being sick, but now I'm going to save you from your soul. Because mm -hmm. he, he, when she comes on to him, he runs away with his Bible. Because she says, Say I give a shit about you, you people. And he goes outside and he's looking at his Bible and he picks it up and he, he goes, what is this? Austin 316? Chain those whores to the radiator. Chain them whores to the radiator. There was Tell the cooches dry there. up and they find the righteous pearl. Yeah, this is pretty specific. Mm. Usually this scripture is suggestive. Don't but... trust them big eyed bitches. All right. So he goes and chains her up. And she wakes up and she goes, uh, okay, I'm better now. Uh, how about you unchain me? What's going on here? He goes, nah, child. <laughs> she goes, uh, how about I suck your dick? I'll do whatever you like. I just when you're done, I gotta go. You know, cause I can't, I, I can't stay here with you. God seen fit to put you in my path, and I aim to cure you of your wickedness. She runs outside. Ooh, yeah. And he starts dragging her. Those in the trailer. In. And eventually he gets her in and she just goes, fine, I'll live here. And he's taking care of her. Doesn't give her clothes for like the first several days. She spends a lot of time in her panties. I, I kept thinking about like, is he going to like leave some of his pants by her so she can put them on? Yeah. You think at some point. I mean, that thing has got to be stinking by now. You just put to an avoid extra layer suspicion. On maybe he does he, throw her in a bath of ice. Maybe he could soap it up and get it clean. Eventually there's a young boy that does work f with him. And he comes by to get some potatoes or something. How old is that boy, Jules? I feel like 11. Oh, really? I was but just after this, like I feel like 16. Oh, okay. He ages five years because of what happens in that house. So she's hiding from him. And I think, I assumed initially she was hiding from him because we're not getting the sounds. Because she just doesn't want to be seen. Yeah. Chained up. Um, but then he walks away and then he turns around because somehow he hears something that is inaudible to us. He smelled the lust. And she just, whoom, top off. Spider hook on his pelvis and just starts banging on him. Apparently. No, god damn it. Mm -hmm. uh, Julie? Samuel Jackson shows up, though. He goes, damn it, girl. Can't I leave you alone for five minutes? And the boy comes flying out of the house and he's kicking on him because his little his penis is out because his pants is down. I was trying to do a boner check-in. Mm -hmm. I'm getting nothing. I'm enjoying the movie to some extent. I find it a very enjoyable movie. But uh, I, there's nothing. I mean, I like her body, but. Would she capture him like a sexy spider? This is sad. When she me. captured him with the, like a sexy spider, I was like, Boy. Man, I was like I don't she's got unbrushed teeth. This is she probably smells real child bad. Abuse. She's I was raping a child. You would never wouldn't but if that was you. All right, don't think about the child, think about you. Am I his age? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. It's the best. But <laughs> no. So uh she's like uh eventually, you know, she starts to form a bond with Samuel L. Jackson. Uh-huh. Uh, he does release her. He takes her to town. She confronts her mother. What the hell are you talking about? Now, don't do that, Mama. I will go along with all the crap you talk about me, but you can't pretend no more on that. Because I was just a kid. I didn't know about all that shit he was doing to me. And you let him do it. Why didn't you ever, like, save me? Yeah, that's the thing. The, the vision she's having. It's her dirtbag boyfriend. Her mom's boyfriend. Yeah. He's still yeah and she goes you're a liar and then she starts beating the shit out of her with a mop mm -hmm. at which point samuel l jackson after having lunch with um se patha murkerson sees a commotion and he goes over and he picks her up <laughs> this your niece Her 
her name sounds fake. He goes, get out of the way, ass Epatha Merkerson. And takes her home. He doesn't even say, like, it's not what it looks like. And he starts ba- bathing her. No. He's like, look, there's obviously an explanation, but I got to get her out of here because she's, you know. And he takes her home. He starts bathing her. And uh, he's pouring the water on her head. And it's kind of sensual. She leans on his thigh. He's a nice guy. He is, but talking about his wife. He's dripping? No, but he goes, you know what, child? <laughs> You're not even entertaining the thought. You're, you're free to go. And she goes, can That's I ask not, something of you? No, it's after he invites the, the priest over and they have a nice dinner. Oh, yeah, together. the priest comes over. He doesn't invite him over. He shows up. He does show up. Oh, and he is pulls my, a gun out on him. I laughed my ass off. There's actually several times in this I found this movie extremely funny. Mm-hmm. Basically all involving Samuel Jackson and Christina Ricci. His reactions to her, her reactions to him. But when he gets that gun... Something wrong with your phone? I've been trying to call you for a few days. <laughs> Going dove hunting? R.L. Now I done told you to get on. I ain't playing. Like, look, get dude, the fuck out. Look, man, I just need to do my thing. Mm-hmm. You get it. Yeah. Just leave. Yeah, I can. So then he goes, what the hell's going on here, man? And he goes, oh, yeah, there's a white girl in there. And he goes, oh. Uh. Watch out for her, though. She'll get your dick. She's, and she's trying to get them all. He, she's like a, they're like Pokemon. She he convinces the priest to just talk to her. And he does, and he sees that she's got some issues, you know, and that Samuel L. Jackson, in whatever fashion, is trying to help her. And that boy also has dinner with them. Because he's been hiding in the barn after yeah. Samuel Jackson kicked him in the butt. Yeah. He does unchain her. She goes, look, I'll leave uh, after one thing. And he goes, whatever, anything you want. And so he busts out his guitar. And he starts singing to her. And the song is, unchain my heart. Say you'll love me again. Undo these chains that you tied me when you walked out the door. This radiator's really hot. Yep. But no, he starts singing a song to her. Some pretty mama better get this black snake. She starts hallucinating and seeing the footprints under the door again. So she really grasps his leg uh, at some point he does actually start it, giving her the power goes out he starts giving her clothing yeah but then he starts playing and it brings the power back on mm-hmm. and he's singing man samuel jackson's so good power of the blues no he goes <laughs> it's a black snake moan driving my pants into a tent oh. and she's work. just shuddering Mm-hmm. And now they're daughter and, and father. Because mm-hmm. he used to be a bluesman, but he's not anymore. But he goes, I'm going to do a blues stuff right now. Yeah. And they go down to the um, blues bar. And it's jam-packed. Everybody there. And uh, he starts, boy, he's doing his thing. They're, they're there to see him, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And he's doing his thing. Yeah. And the band's doing their thing. And she's now just sh- sh- scuttle button. I reached down in my pocket and pulled out my shiny party phone. They're popping. She's popping on dudes. Chicks are popping on her. Everybody's sweating. Yep, that stank everywhere. Eventually, I think Ronnie shows up. God, those eyes are really ping ponging around. And he starts getting racist on Samuel. He busts him up in the head. That's at the house. Oh, because Ronnie has returned home because he's a chicken shit coward who's incapable of firing a gun. Yeah, after like five days? How long has this been? Not long. No longer than 72 hours. <laughs> I guarantee you. The whole time she's fever dreaming and shit? Uh-huh. What, does she say? what does she say to him? How long have I been out? Two days. It felt like two and a half fucking weeks. Yeah, it was two days. Two days. Yeah. So Ronnie, he's still on the bus at this point, getting to wherever the fuck he's going. She would have been covered in diarrhea. He gets home. And his boy picks him up and he goes, what happened, man? He goes, I, was, I just couldn't do it. I'm a pussy. Mm-hmm. And he goes, is that bitch, Ray? God damn. What? Where's she at? She left you. She's fucking around. Everybody. Left. I had sex with her. I mean, every time you leave town, that pussy's up for grabs. Is that right? Don't you think it's funny I know where everything in your house is? I don't care if that hurts you or not. I really don't. 
truth is, I don't even know who you are anymore. I tried to rape her. She laughed at me. I beat her up and dumped her on the side of the road. I killed her. I think she's dead. I, I actually hope she is, because otherwise I'm in severe trouble. <laughs> No, you're always in less trouble if they're still alive. <laughs> well, no, because they still put you in jail. To tell? Yeah. I can't. You're going to get caught in the way. Dead men tell no tales. <laughs> Why is this like a DMX song? It's a, is it? No, it's actually a sample from a song from Aesop Rock. Oh. He's like, it's that bitch. She fucked you up. You used to be golden. And then you started hanging around with her. Like Pony Boy? Hey, gold. Pony Boy. Yeah, and you can't breathe now. You know, and he goes, that's bullshit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and they f- rumble, and he steals his car. And eventually he shows up to Sammy Jacks. Ronnie. Oh! No! <laughs> it ain't been but a week. You already some <laughs> tore. You fucking this, N-word? Mm-hmm. After I left? She's like, are you a... D- idiot you don't want to call sammy jack the m-word no yeah that's nice I are you that. she goes to ronnie are you an idiot he's like 50 yeah. i'm like 20 to 25 you think of all people have you have you not met tyrone how old do you think he is right then in real he life he's like 50 huh yeah god he's so old now though he's in his 70s and and then he brings the priest in and they go yeah blah 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 you're hurting each other and this that and the other and she goes, you know what, Ronnie? I love you if, you if you'll keep me, but I know you want to throw me away, but please keep me. Yeah, all right. But no more blacks. And they get into the car. They get married. Is it the graduate? They go up in the bus together and they got those weird looks? No. They get married, and the S.E. Patha Merkerson gives her a dress. Philip, the young boy, is Ronnie's best man. Mm-hmm. And they get married, and they leave. And now they're driving down the road, and immediately, Justin Timberlake's having a pussy fit. Because a truck's driving next to him. And then there's a truck behind him. <laughs> She's like, Ronnie, what the fuck? This is just called traffic. <laughs> I can't do it. He pulls over. <laughs> she starts rubbing on him. Earlier when he has a panic attack, did you notice that she takes her tit out and puts it on his back? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> That's something was, else, isn't it? I was pretty into that. She just... Uh, That's awesome. Breastfeeds is... Press them in. Laterous. Uh, lateral muscles. Why don't people do this Deltoids. stuff for us? Do they do that stuff for you? Uh, I wish. So, they, they, you know, game over, man. Movie's <laughs> over. <laughs> this movie makes me sad. <laughs> yeah. I do find it to be a surprisingly good movie. I find it to be pretty entertaining. It's it, bananas. It takes a while to get going. Yeah, I think the story kind of undercuts some of it a little bit, but mm. performances are all really good. I'm super into Christina Ricci. Yeah, she's super good in here. Her eyes are so big in here. It's un- it's insane. Yeah. And Samuel L. Jackson, he cleans himself up throughout the film. He slicks his hair back when he goes to play. But when he's like angry, crazy, I mean, this is the where he's from, where he's like, mm-hmm. where he's got those crazy eyes. Oh, yeah. that shit. I mean, that's what you got going on right now. But I don't, I, eh, I, a little bit of a boner. I, I mean, it, I, it's a boner that kind of made me feel bad. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a peculiar film where it's so trashy and she's so naked. Mm-hmm. But it isn't like Showgirl. I mean, Showgirl is trashy too, but. It isn't like a, I don't know, it doesn't feel like a movie where it's sexy at all. I would be nice to her. <laughs> yeah, I would this just is... be like, look, I, I I would, I mean, I wouldn't chain you up, but I, I, I would like to help you. We're nice guys. You know what you got to do, though? Uh-huh. Hit her? No. <laughs> <laughs> you kidnap her. You take her ID. Chain her. You take her social security <laughs> card. And you deliver her to a Spanish convent. Yeah. In Spain. Okay. And they clean her up. I like how generally with these movies, I'm just like, you know, I, I would be nice to this girl. I would be happy for the romance, and I think they're pretty, mm-hmm. and I would just like to be there for them and help them. The problem is, is she's got, like, voodoo vagina. Should we do the scales, the ratings? <sighs> sure. 
Do you have to fart? No, Ooh. I was going to say something incredibly wise. Did I ruin it? Well, I, I wouldn't say you ruined it, but somebody did quite rudely. <laughs> no, no, no. I forget what it is. <laughs> Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. What um, What do you give this on the boner scale? On a boner scale, I don't know, a one. That's impressive. It's out of 10, right? Mm-hmm. Is it one out of two? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to go with a zero, but I figured I might as well at least put it on the scale. I mean, I'll, I'll shine to say I got a six, Christina Ricci. I, you, can, you want me to put you on a t-shirt? You want to come hang out? I, was, I got a girlfriend. I can't do it. As a movie, I I definitely give it a 6.5. Sure. Definitely. Okay. It's entertaining. It's very it's entertaining. It's got some good, powerful performances. Yeah. I'll give it a seven. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So um, where, what can people do to get to reach us? You can email us at we doing filmographies at gmail dot com. Yeah. That's our other show. You should you should listen. To oh that yeah, show. yeah, we had that one too. Yeah. Uh, you can give us a phone call or text us at seven six three six three four one eight nine seven. Oh man, that's totally true. You can find us on Instagram, Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, yeah. Discord. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. All of the stuff. Uh, bl- no, uh, Blitzkrieg, Reader, Flickr. Oh, Threads. Threads. We doing filmographies or do filmographies? Something, something along those lines. Yep. Oh, uh, you, you can also rate us on uh, Apple Podcasts, and if you do that, and it shows up director of that one movie i can't think of right now hanky shanky uh we'll review any film that you recommend yeah you can do that for we do them filmographies or we mm-hmm. do them boners a two and a half hour compilation of sonola executions you rate us oh, these chairs suck yeah do they that's that's great you're doing well oh actually i, I i'm about to go to sleep i'm gonna kill you it's um, so comfortable that's it. We'll be back next month with another boner. I get yeah. to choose. You what? Oh, yeah. It's my turn. You know what I was going to choose? Basic Instinct. You told me. Really wish I would have. I've been Jules. Yeah, I've been Jason. These have been our boners. They are big. Mine's null and void. <laughs>